What's going on YouTube? Rob A again, and today we're going to be taking a look at Toy World's TWT03 Trace. Uh, now this is part of the Not Throttlebots line of the uh, of Toy Worlds, and uh, he's the third in the line, as indicated by TWT03, um, following Grind Rod here and Aurora, of course. And we'll just put those guys off to the side for now. Uh, but as you can see, he is a very nice red, uh, kind of sporty SUV. I believe he's he's modeled after a uh, Ferrari of some kind, a Ferrari SUV. Um, he's 15 and up. I don't I don't know about that, but uh, yeah, very simple packaging. Shows you the back of the robot mode, uh, on the back front of the robot mode, and the vehicle mode. Made in China. Bunch of uh, words I can't read. And on the back, it's just some more information. Really not a whole heck of a lot going on here, so um, you can see very nice window packaging. But we're going to get this guy open and check him out in hand. Okay, so inside the box, you get uh, our friend Trace here. You get his little weapon, which I'll show you right here. There you go. And, of course, you get the little collectible card, as well as the uh, instruction sheet, which really is... Um, uh, a sheet, just a very, very minimalist sheet for what I, I would consider a pretty involved figure. Uh, you can see, that's it. Those are the instructions. Um, <clears throat> so, <laughs> take that as you will. Uh, it does require a little bit of exploration, I would say, to, um, to figure out the actual correct transformation for this guy. Um, but the instructions certainly get you there, uh, for the most part. And uh, you can take the take the gun that he comes with, and you can stick it underneath, just in this little slot. You can either have it poking out like so, as kind of a um, sort of exhaust, if you want. I think it looks a little funny, it's like, oh, a little inappropriate even. Uh, or you can stick it around the back way, and just like so. And that does kind of stick out a little bit, also looking a bit inappropriate, but, uh, yeah. It, uh, it fits in there, and it, uh, doesn't really obstruct or interfere with the vehicle mode any. Uh, it's a very nice vehicle mode. Uh, it's a nice red, uh, it's not shiny, it's got, it's got a very soft sheen to it, like, I think it might be supposedly, like, a metallic sheen. Um, but it almost comes off as like a, a, a little bit of a textured feel. Uh, very, very similar to the, the kind of texturing on the Mastermind Creations Feral Cons. Um, but uh, overall, very, very nice. Uh, feels nice and solid. Um, and you can turn his head around there so it's not facing forward underneath the car mode. But uh, you can see... Not a whole, like, not a whole lot of robot kibble, except for the, the head kind of just sticking out there, but, uh, it looks decent. And, uh, I'll show him off with his brethren here. Here he is with the other two, uh, throttle bots. And I think they look, uh, look really nice together. He is the longest of the three. Um, by a decent amount. Uh, maybe, you know... <clears throat> almost an inch, I would say, like good three quarters of an inch to an inch, but uh, yeah, overall, very, very cool. Um, it's got some very nice silver detailing on the headlights and the hood, and uh, just black detailing along the uh, side mirrors. Now, these mirrors do feel like they'll pop off fairly easily. Um, however, I've transformed him already a few times, and uh, it, it's easy to do it without really risking uh, damage to those, so just just be careful of them. That's all. Um, the wheels are very very nice with the red red ring around the uh, yeah <laughs> around the hubcap, the rims. Um, so yeah, very very nice. Back back end and yeah, so. Pretty cool, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video here, and then we're going to come back and transform this guy to robot mode, so I'll see you in just a moment. Okay, so to transform this guy, what you want to do is first 
pop off the uh, pop off the gun. Just put that to the side. And you want to come under here, and the two these two pieces here are going to become the legs. And you just want to kind of pull those out to the side like so. And uh, it can be a little difficult because it it's clipped on right here, and that clip is very it doesn't look terribly secure, but it it really is. There you go. Um, so you get that off to the side. I'm just gonna pull those out like so. I'm just gonna flip that piece in, and this whole rear half of the car is just gonna come up and go over, and just clip, just sit right there on top. Okay. Then we're gonna pull the legs down like so. We're gonna kind of accordion them down. Yeah, like that. <clears throat> and we're gonna take the silver part of the thigh. And we're just going to rotate that until it faces out and then rotate this part back in. So the thigh goes out to the side of the silver and that goes back in. All right. <clears throat> and there we have basically the start of his legs. Uh, we're going to come around to the side here and we are going to unclip these bits from the front. Just kind of pull those up. Okay. And then the arms are going to kind of shimmy out to the sides like so. It's going to loosen these up some more. And we're just going to pull these down and kind of down along the sides here. Just get them out of the way. Just being aware of the uh, side mirrors. And <clears throat> so now you can see there's this little bit right here with the pin in it and there's a little stalk coming off of that. You have to kind of grab it down here and just pull this whole piece up and you'll see that the bit with the pin actually will move up. It could be a little tight, so just, you know, just give it a little bit. You don't have to, don't try and force it too, too much, but um, just make sure it knows, it knows what's going on. All right, so just push that up. Don't push it up all the way though. It does go up higher. Um, but just kind of leave it sort of in the middle here at the moment. Now you're going to come up and you're going to twist this whole top section around like so. And then just kind of sit it like that. And you're going to twist this, the, the hood of the car around this way independently of the swivel. So it'll swivel this way and then it'll swivel this way. And then it'll kind of form the chest of the car. And uh, so what we want to do in the meantime is take these two side bits that we were moving up and just push them up the rest of the way. And that'll kind of hold the head, um, the whole head area in place. All right, just like so. Now what we want to do is come over to the front and then the two halves of the bumper, the two parts of the bumper just come off like so and these are also pegged in pretty tight and then the front half here will also just flip underneath just like that this piece folds down and just clips in nicely right there and then these bits that were on the side you'll see the clip that was once holding it to the front bumper it'll slide right into that bit right there so there you go, and those are the sides of the chest. Okay, uh, you want to move these out to the side here. You want to unpeg the windshield like so, and then flip, turn the whole thing around, and then it'll peg in up at the top on a separate, a separate peg. These guys off to the side here. You just fold them down and kind of push them in and up like so. And that'll just fill in the back very nicely. Okay. And uh, then you can go ahead and twist the waist around. Now we're going to do the arms. And for the arms, we can push these guys down a little bit. You just want to grab the, this will be the forearm. Just pull it out like so flip the fist out and then the the side windows are on these little stalks so you just push the stalk out 
and just twist it around until you see this little clip. This little post is just going to sit right in there. Just like so. Same on the other side. Mm -hmm. Flip the fist out. Push the, the plunger. And then just twirl it back to sit right in there. Now, I did in fact just knock the uh, <laughs> this out because, quite frankly, it is a lot more difficult to do this um, on camera than it is to just do it, you know, by yourself. Um, but it's simple enough to pop back in. It's not glued in or anything. It's literally just a little post that fits in there. And you could even glue it if you want it to be more secure. Um, so... But it is, it's possible. This is the first time I've popped it out, honestly. And it's only because I'm trying to watch, you know, the, the camera lens or the camera viewfinder uh, while doing this. And it makes it rather difficult to see what, what you're doing when you're, you know, looking at it on the little tiny screen like this. But that said, um, just make sure everything's, there we go. That's pegged in now. So we've pretty much got him going here. You just want to flip his little front feet up. And these will become his heels. You can just flip those up as well. Just like so. Alright. Okay. And there you have Trace in robot mode. You can give him his little gun here. Which, uh... The gun actually is very, very tight. Like, I haven't been able to, uh get it into his hand successfully yet and I haven't tried it on the other hand but I imagine it's probably the same deal uh, so you may want to shave down the handle uh, for this weapon before you attempt to put it in his hands because you may end up stressing his fists a little bit too much um, it even yeah it fits uh, it fits in grind rods little posts but not in his hands either so that's something to look out for. Um, I don't know if it's on every copy, but it's certainly on, on mine. And I don't intend to uh, to press the issue too, too much. Like, I'll, I'll push a little bit, but... Yeah, there it goes. It went in. And uh, I'm not going to push it in any more than that. But uh, it went in a little bit, so I'm going to leave it at that. But, um, yeah, there is Trace in robot mode. All right, so for articulation, uh, he has a ball-jointed head, which I'll actually zoom in to let you see his fantastic robot mustache. Um, he does have a ball joint as well, and some nice light piping, which, uh, there you go. Uh, he has his arm his shoulders are on the little stalks that go up and down as well as the ball joint attached so he can actually he can elbow check himself in the head if you want um he's got the upper bicep swivel he's got the elbow mm -hmm. his wrists don't rotate which is kind of a bummer uh but he, he does have waist articulation which is really nice uh, he's got universal hips uh, he's got an upper thigh swivel he has a knee swivel uh, he's got the knee going on here and his feet are on these little hinges so that he can get some nice nice wide stances going should you so desire. Um, he is pretty tall actually. He's a little bit taller than a Deluxe and just to show you here, here he is with the uh, Deluxe Viacon. So you can see he's actually bigger, larger than, than your average Deluxe figure. Um, and here he is of course with his brothers in arms uh, grind rod and Aurora. Now the thing of this is, I don't think he really fits in all that terribly well with these guys, and I think the reason for that is um, simply this. I don't think he looks bad. I just think he kind of sticks out a bit, and it's it's simply because they release these two, and their transformations are nearly identical to one another. Um, their aesthetic is very similar, um, and their robot modes are, you know, for that reason, very similar. Uh, I think 
we just need a you know one or two more, at least one more of these members out, just so he has kind of a, cohe- a cohesive partner in this group. Because right now it's just these two guys, and then then him just kind of you know sticking out a little bit. Um, but yeah, not not too bad. I just think I just think time is the only factor here. We just need we need a time to pass to get a, you know another figure or two out. Uh, but other than that, he's a really cool figure. Um, I really do like him. He's not like as you saw with the transformation. He's he's involved, but he's not overly complex. He's not nothing is like crazy terrible. He's not like a nightmare to transform. Um, he's no worse than some other you know like main mainline deluxes I would say or you know certainly not worse than any of the movie figures, but. I think the the end result is a really really nice looking uh, larger than deluxe size figure. Um, he's got a lot of nice posability, a lot of personality to him, and uh, I think both of his modes look really really cool. Um, as you can see down here, he's got some holes, some random holes, and some uh, plugs and things that are not used in either mode. So. That is probably for his uh, combined mode, which I guess at this point is pretty much confirmed. They showed, they, the um, Toy World showed on their Facebook page, I believe it was, a um, a picture of him with uh, the, the arm of, or the hand of Feral Rex actually attached in arm mode. I'm going to wait to show off any of the limb modes until uh, until it's actually complete, I think, just because, you know, it's, it's just easier that way. Uh, this review has been long enough already. So that said, I'm going to end the review here. I want to thank you guys so very much for watching. As always, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I've got more Transformers coming along very soon. And, uh, yeah, I hope you stick around for them. So thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.